Okay, so let's talk about opalines. I have a lot of opalines, so this will be easy to do. You are looking at two not opaline birds. They are both normals. But we have to start looking at normals before we can go and see the differences between the two. So, in normals, full strength body color, uh, a yellow face, um, uh, uh, throat spots around the edge tend to be, you know, a little sparser, um, usually kind of make a necklace around their, their throats, um, like a little row. Uh, most important part to look at is the head barring is just literally stripes all the way along. And let's see if I can get one of these guys to turn around the other way. Turn around for me. Turn around. No? Let's try this. Hold on. Turn around. Let me see. There you go. Okay. Oh, fancy. You're not helpful. Come on. Turn around. Let me see. There. Okay. Fancy's turned around. See how her head barring goes all the way down to between her wings and her back? Um, black and white all the way down. She has a little bit of leakage in there of, of other colors, but because she's a, a yellow face, but um, just uniform barring all the way down to between the two wings. Their wings are have black feathers on them with a white edging, um, or it would be a yellow wedging if either one of these were green birds, but they're not. Okay, so keeping that in mind as the baseline, here is an oak line. These two birds are both oak lines. This is frost and cinnamon. Now, first of all, you can see that they lack the barring on their heads. Um, they will have some little whispers of it, and opaline will, will have a whisper of barring on their heads, and sometimes they'll come out with this flecked look on their heads, like um, Frost has. Now, in showing that, the flecked look is not desirable, but it's um, easy to breed out. So I'm breeding him to a bird that doesn't have flecks, and most of their babies should be fleckless, if you will. Okay. Um, another thing about the opaline is it's a diluting factor. If you can see... Um, it's not hugely diluting, but a little bit, maybe 10 to 20 percent of their body color is faded out a little bit. So that he's a lighter blue than the regular birds, and she's a lighter gray green than a regular bird. Okay? Um, the other thing you'll notice about them is that big blotch of throat spots. See how she just has a big cluster of them? And his is even more dramatic. He's got so many all in a big pile right there that it just looks like a giant black spot. That is a trait of the opaline bird. So, um, little or no barring on the head, um, or broken barring on the head. Um, a giant mass of throat spots is opaline. But here's another thing. If you can see his wings, you'll see that his feathers on his wings are actually varied quite a little bit. Um, some of them are black with an edging on them. Now the edging is not white, it's blue. That's another trait of the opaline. They will have body color in their wings. Um, but the other thing is some of those are white feathers with black edging or reversed. So their feathers look, his, his wing feathers look a little broken up um, and complicated rather than, um, you know, a, a steady patterning. Um, the, uh, hers are the same. You'll see some of them are, most of hers are black with a body, with her body color, which is a gray-green edging, uh, but a few of them, you'll see a solid white one in there with a black edging or two. Um, so that's another trait. Um, and the other thing is, these two are both facing me. Let me see if I can get them to turn around. Turn around for me. Come on. Turn around. Let me see. Turn around the other way. There you go. Oh, she's going to duck in there. Do you see in between her shoulder blades, she does not have the barring. She has body color. She turned around ever so briefly, and then there she is. She's, I'm making her nervous. Um, come on, turn around, baby. We want to see your back for a minute. I'm not turning my back on you. Okay, she's not going to be helpful. Oh, here we go. Um, here is... See? No barring... She has body color between her shoulder blades instead of the barring on bits that she would have had on her head. This is also no plan. Look at those massive cluster of throat spots on her. And she also has the flecking on the head, which is, again, it's an opaline trait, not desirable, but 
easy to breed out. Um, so that's an opaline. So opaline is a, um, it changes the pattern of the body. Um, it's a sex linked trait. That means that the females, if they, they can only carry, females can only carry one opaline gene at a time. So if you see a female that does not look like an opaline, then she has no opaline genes. If you see a female like um, Lilith here that looks like an opaline, then she has one opaline gene and it's the only one she's got. Okay? Um, the males have two genes for opaline. So although a female can never be split, she has only one gene for opaline and if it's there, she's opaline and if it's not, she's not opaline. The males can be split to opaline. So, um... Uh, and opaline is recessive. So Frost here has two opaline genes, and he can be split to op he could be split to opaline. But if he was, he wouldn't see the opaline. It would be hidden by a regular bird. So for all we know, old Blue down here, who looks completely normal, could be split to opaline, but we don't know. Fancy, on the other hand, who looks completely normal, cannot be split to opaline because if she had the opaline gene as a female, she would look opaline. So. Um, we know Frost has, has um, two opaline genes. His lady, Cinnamon, is opaline, so she has one opaline gene. All of their babies are going to be opaline genes. Now, if you took a female opaline and bred her to a normal male, none of the babies will come out opaline. None of them. The boys would be split to it. The girls wouldn't have any of it. Absolutely none. If you take a male opaline and breed him to a normal female, all of the boys will come out looking normal, but they'll be split to opaline. All of the girls will be opalines, even though their mother's normal, because um, he's passing on the opaline gene and she can't trump that, because she is, as a normal, as a female, she only would carry one gene, and her one gene can't outdo his. So it's a sex link trait. Um, it's easiest to pass it on by the males. Um, females can't really pass it on unless you breed them to another bird that's an opaline. Um, the best you could do with a female is get males that are split to it, but they won't look opaline. So these two right here, being both opaline, are going to have all opaline babies. Um, these two right here, um, this is Lilith. She's an opaline. Um, Razzle is not. He's a spangle. Um, so unless he's split to opaline, none of these babies are going to come out looking like her. They're all going to come out looking either normal or spangled. But the boys will be split to opaline. So if I wait until they're old enough to tell, I will know, even though they won't look opaline, I'll know that the boys are split to opaline because it's a sex-linked mutation. Um, it's a sex-linked pattern-changing mutation. Okay, so that's opaline for you. Uh, just to recap, cluster of throat spots, um, broken or no barring on the top of the head, um, the V in the middle of their back is body color, and the wings have body color on them. And it is a sex-linked mutation, passed on most easily by the males, almost never by the females.